Okay, these are my two cool dual circuits. Uh, these are versions of Tin Man's recent circuit. Have a look at his channel for that. And uh, this one works, and this one is on test. At the moment, <coughs> I've got 1.106 on the drive battery there, and uh, cause it just took some readings. And uh, this one started out 1.008 and 0.639 and they're now at 1.2 and 0.816 so they've gone up quite a ways oh and in fact uh, here's all my <laughs> writings down over the past day or so on this one and the problem was the light went out and yet it still carried on and I think it's to do with the wire I found out that if I move them around close or further away the light output intensity changed and also if I touch the resistor which in this case is a 100 ohm uh, this one uses a C3198 and it's the GR flavour of that and these are dancing flowers coils and uh, they're about 450 ohms and they seem to work pretty well they at least do work definitely on this circuit here uh, to start I just used a little piece of metal that's bent there and I just touch the emitter and the collector with both batteries in place and the light will come on well it will on this one which is the second one that I built at the moment I'm testing a 9014 and uh, it started at 1.099 1.201 and they've gone up to 1.106 and 1.202 so I'll leave this running a little while and then I've got a 2222A to try as well but uh, that's where I'm up to with these and like I say the dancing flower coils might be the easy way around getting some decent uh, high ohmage coils and as I say 1.106 on that one at the moment and it's, uh, it's trundling on quite nicely the, the lights on it's not very bright but it's okay and uh, I've got a 500 ohm pot on this as well oh the other tip is a 1N4004 seems to be the right diode to use in these okay thanks for watching